Everything is awesome. Oh my gosh, I love this song. Everything is awesome. Everything is cool. Everything is awesome. Always use a turn signal. Hi there, fine folks of Petawawa. It's Joshua Bartholomew here from sunny Los Angeles, California. I'm so sorry that I couldn't be there in person, but I, uh, I wanted to send along my appreciation and gratitude for being considered to be inducted into the Petawawa Sports and Entertainment Hall of Fame. It, it really is an honor uh, and su such a, a, a cool thing. I love that you guys are doing this. Um, again, so appreciative. I, I, I'm sorry I couldn't be there. So many fond memories growing up in Petawawa, going to General Lake Public School, living on Dundonald Drive, camping and fishing at Round Lake. Uh, seriously, some of the, the best memories of my, my young life in that area. So again, thank you so much for, for considering me. And I feel so lucky and, and, and blessed to do what I do for a living and to be able to make music and, and do what I love and, and work with such incredible, talented people. And to keep doing that, it really is a, a blessing. And so thank you for recognizing that and, and, and uh, allowing me to be a part of this really, really cool event. Uh, again, I wish I could be there. I hope you all are having a really good time and uh, try not to have too much fun without me. But uh, thanks again. Take care, everybody. Uh, I'm, I'm seriously so honored. Thank you so much. Hi Josh, Kenny Loggins here. Congratulations on your Hall of Fame award. Uh, I had so much fun writing with you. Uh, I wanna do it again, which I've told you since 2020, that uh, one of these days we'd get back together again and do some writing. Uh, that experience of you having so many great ideas, plus your ability to turn it immediately into a production and put it down on tape, so to speak, uh, is something I really appreciate. It allows us to work really fast together. And uh, I hope to do it again. So congratulations and good luck. In the wild, there's a rhythm makes you dance like a child, like a child. In the air, there's a magic that can take you anywhere. But you gotta be brave like a lion, strong like a tiger. Leave the fear far behind. Take your hand and I'll give you mine. We'll soar like an eagle up where the future is waiting. Are you ready for a great adventure? Josh, congratulations on getting inducted into the Padawawa Sports and Entertainment Hall of Fame. It could not have gone to a more deserving, kind, and talented individual. I am so grateful to call you a friend and longtime music collaborator. I am so like in love with every musical project we've ever done and everything that you've done with your own career. It has spanned so many <laughs> decades. And um, congratulations again. We did Padawawa very proud. Joshua asked if I would do the presentation. He said something about he was going to send me, Brian Moans, those glasses he was wearing. <laughs> We'd look pretty radical with those on now, wouldn't we? But ladies and gentlemen, if you review what Joshua Bartholomew has done in his life, and he's a fairly young man, it's easily seen that he has made a definitive impact on the music and entertainment industry. When you're on the stage with people like Burton Cummings, Randy Bachman, Kenny Loggins, and the other JB, Justin Bieber, you know you must be doing something right. Now, I could read his impressive CV in the booklet, but you can read it also. So I would sooner fixate on what a person like Joshua Bartholomew and other entertainers 
bring to society in a broader sense. You know, genius, I guess, can speak at any time. And the world will stop. And the world will listen. But beyond the daily conflict and crisis, and beyond the dramatic confrontations and the daily tumult, it is the entertainer, the musician, the singer, the producer, the composer, the songwriter, that really shares their unique ability with us. You know, a hundred years from now, people will not remember what kind of car we drove. They will not remember how much money we had in the bank. They will not remember what kind of house we lived in. But they will remember how much we contributed to the human spirit. And it is the arts community that makes a tremendous constitution to society as a whole. And for that, we owe them a great thanks. You know, Ed Chow was talking about John Donne a few moments ago. Well, in 1664, King Louis the 14th of France wanted to encourage dedication to the arts and entertainment, so he, brought, uh, he put on a pair of brilliant tights and he took the lead role in a play called Furious Roland. Now, I am not suggesting, Ed Chow, that the mayor and council of Petawawa don brilliant tights and perform in front of us, their constituents, but it would be, it would be something interesting to behold. But arts is the greatest democrat of all, calling forth creative genius from all walks of life irrespective of race, creed, color, religion, ethnicity, and yes, Tracy and Sandra, gender. We owe them a great deal. We owe a person like Joshua Bartholomew a great deal. So, my friends, it is a distinct pleasure for me to make the presentation to Joshua Bartholomew's father, J.P. Bertzion, who is with us tonight. So I would call J.P. forward, please, so I can make that presentation to him. This is not my moment, this is Josh's moment, but um, <clears throat> I prepared some notes and I thought, okay, after about two minutes, they're going to play some music, it's time to leave, okay? So I got to observe everybody, I said, I got about 40 minutes here, so. <laughs> Just kidding, I have little notes and, and nothing is in any particular order. Um, and I just, like, it's incredible that all the nice things that were said. Um, you all have the, the little booklet with Josh's bio. Who would have thought? You know, I certainly didn't think. Uh, my path in life changed in uh, 1982 when I chose to join the military. 
I was a long-haired rock and roller before that. I used to sing top 40 stuff and do things that Josh started doing. Check, one, two, yeah. I don't um, but it's my change in my path in life that brought Josh here to Petawawa because he was born in 1984, a year after I got here. Sorry, I missed out on the draw of the house by 10 years. <laughs> um, I never would have thought, you know, it would come to all of this. Josh, he would walk around here in his, our little row house on Dundown Drive. He went to the school in the backyard, walk around his little onesie with a Fisher Price tape recorder and a microphone singing to Michael Jackson and, and everybody. We didn't know at the time, you know, what that meant. Um, until uh, he was living in Alliston with his mom and went through a co-op program and was teaching himself how to put music together, how to play all the instruments, how to get a, your stuff together in a studio. Um, basically self-taught, you know, through, through the graces of the school that he was attending at the time. So not only did he learn how to play all these instruments, he was already an accomplished singer, he learned how to write songs. He put his own CDs together, wrote a double CD uh, with a bunch of songs, and so it begins, and, um, and put it all together. The only thing he couldn't do was master it. He, all the voices in there are him. Uh, all of the music in there is, it basically is him, except for a couple of, of, of instruments, and mm, yeah, I think all the voices are him. So he learned how to put it all together, you know, and that was just the start you know, of, of, uh, of his career in, in the music business, in the music industry. He has made a footprint in the, in the music industry. There's no doubt about it. Adam Lambert, Alana Miles, Burton Cummings, Randy Bachman, uh, Slash. Uh, let me see, Ooh, I have some names here, I know. He, I mean, Serena Ryder and him opened for Bachman and, and Cummings on their songbook tour, you know, back in 2006 or something. Uh, and, and he was always a solo performer. He could get up on stage with his guitar. His voice was his instrument. His octave, his range, incredible. I was sitting beside Alana Miles. I got to meet a lot of these people. I was sitting beside Alana Miles in a bar in, in downtown Toronto on Queen Street, and Josh was doing his thing up there, singing one of his songs from And So it Begins, and his range just went up. It, the, the goosebumps that I felt, I mean, I'm the proud papa, you know. But Alana is sitting beside me and she's looking at me and I know she's feeling it too. And she looks at me and she says, Robert never had anything on him. I didn't get it at first, but she used to date Robert Plant from Led Zeppelin. And I'm thinking this is her saying, he's got him beat for what he does. That's huge, you know. So let me see what I have here. So, and. I sang Kenny Loggins songs once upon a time. <laughs> and here he is with them, the little booger. <laughs> I, I have 34 and a half years in the military. I retired as a sergeant major. I was the one who told everybody to get their, you know, whatever together all the time. And, and now here I am getting to enjoy the things that he's, you know, they say you can live vicariously through your kids. There's some truth to that. I get to sit back and, and watch him do, do his thing. I get to see these people that he, he you know, uh, performs with, writes with, collaborates with, and I wanted to make sure. Emerson Drive is mentioned in, in the, the booklet. They had a, a top 10 country hit. Josh is not country, but he wrote with, with those boys. He wrote with Patricia Conroy. He wrote with Beverly uh, Hood. Um, I want to make sure I've got, I met Andy Kim through him, I met the Bare Naked Ladies through him. You know, it's just, it, he's touched the music industry and now he's married to a beautiful woman, a accomplished pianist who played for the Smashing Pumpkins, toured with them, uh, Kesha, uh, Adam Lambert, Josh did some collaboration with Adam Lambert as well. You know, so it's not a little thing. Sometimes you think, you know, okay, yeah, he's doing good, he's my kid, you know, but I am the proud papa, it's a big thing. He, he's touched a lot of people. When I used to uh, go and visit, it's been a little bit because of COVID, um, I, you never knew who was gonna walk in their studio because they're helping up and comers in the LA, California scene, you know, to help them write songs and get accomplished and, and get their stuff out there. Um, so it's, he's doing some amazing stuff. 
Um, I didn't have anything in any particular order, uh, but I wanted to make sure that I, I experienced our singing Led Zeppelin in a bar one day, wall to wall people, you couldn't move, and it was euphoric because he was nailing it. And the people were just like so drawn to him because of his capability to sing the stuff. The, he can sing the softest ballad, ballad that there is and, and the raunchiest tunes up to ACDC and get away with all of it because he's got that capability in him. And now he produces a lot of music and he puts a lot of music together for other people. I told him what Kenny wants, you better, you better do it. If Kenny <laughs> needs you again, do it. The, the song that they wrote was for the, uh, the San Diego Zoo, the children's hospital, so that kids could wake up in the morning or whatever time of day they woke up and have videos of this song with the animals in the zoo and whatever. So it was a big thing for them to collaborate with, uh, with Kenny. It was a big thing for me. You know, he's one of my idols from, from back in the day. And so it's quite something. Um, let me see. Oh, I, I cannot, um, boy, he's, Call me names if I don't say this. They uh, they were Jolie when uh, Lisa and Josh when they did the Lego uh, movie song. Everything is awesome. Co-writers and Josh produced the uh, the song. Uh, in the movie, I think it's uh, the Tegan twins. I can't remember. I think and the Lonely I uh, Boys or Island. They and Josh and Lisa's version is at the end, but it shows them under the credits and whatever. So they are now Little Danger as in little, the word, L-I-T-T-L-E, D-N-G-R. And they're getting ready to release a, uh, a song. They have a whole bunch of songs, and they're actually releasing one of their songs tomorrow. It's a big thing, and that's another reason why they're so busy trying to get that prepared and everything, and plus they live in California. And um, so on any streaming platform that you can get music, you, you can find Little Danger, and you can find uh, I Love Danger is the name of the song. So. There's no way he would have let me get away without saying that before the end of the night. Um, and the last thing really, it comes down to, um, Josh has asked me to extend his gratitude to everyone who made this possible. I know it was two years in the making, and, uh, but here it is, it's happening. And um, he's a very humble person. He wouldn't even have spent half the time I'm, I've spent already up here. So, and uh, he graciously accepts this uh, prestigious award and thank you very, very much. Thank you very much, JP. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, in closing, I would just like to mention that if there is one common denominator, one thread that unites these five inductees this evening, it is their determination to use their talent and energy to enhance the quality of life of our community of Petawawa, and they have most certainly done so. Whether they were a flag bearer like Tracy in alpine skiing, like my dad in horse racing, like Brian and Ed as builders, just a little aside, my friend Brian Moens could have easily been inducted in the sports category in hockey. He was just that good and still is. And obviously, Trace, or Joshua, in entertainment. They have contributed so much to make our community of Petawawa amazing. Thank <laughs> you.